Tonight, crews across the inland northwest are prepared for a dangerous week with high temperatures and possibly dry lightning. We do have team coverage for you tonight. Blake is tracking the weather. Ava's in Spokane, but we start tonight with John Webb. He is in North Idaho, who was on Hayden Lake to talk about how they're preparing. John? Yes, Steph, since we're in a moderate fire level here on Hayden Lake, you can only burn your slash piles in a 5 by 5 foot diameter. As of right now, you can still have recreational campfires as well. We're a little bit later than normal. Usually right about now we would be closing off um, burning outside other than recreational campfires and cooking fires. And as the heat ramps up, all of the vegetation that has grown tall and thick this spring will begin to dry out. People are out recreating. They need to make sure like their uh, four-wheelers, their ATVs, UTVs, out motorcycles on trails and stuff like that. They have spark arresters. They're not parking their vehicles when it's resting in the dry patches of grass. They need to be on some bare dirt when they're parking their vehicles. Northern Fire's Deputy Marshal Chris Larson says that everyone should take a look at some of the unknown fire dangers that persist around their home. So having a defensible space, keeping firewood at least 50 feet away from your home, um, moving your yard furniture and stuff like that. If there's a firestorm coming, um, anything, winds are picking up, red flag warning, they're forecasting that there's a high potential of fire danger, those are good times to go around your yard and make sure that you have things that are right next to your home, and I would say with 30 feet or closer, you need to make sure that anything that's combustible is moved away from the house or it's put up on storage. And it's a dual warning today because as the heat increases fire danger, it has not yet increased the water temperatures. Larson says hypothermia can still occur on the cooler lakes in our area. Get warmed up again and cool off again. But just remember that hypothermia, even though it is going to be in the 90s, you still can die from hypothermia in our cold waters that we have here in North Idaho. Currently, Lake Coeur d'Alene is 63 degrees. Lake Pend Oreille and Priest Lake are 60. And here at Hayden Lake, it's a frigid 59 degrees. At those temperatures, hypothermia can set in and after just one hour. And Steph, I was going to take a dip in the water out here. It's 59 degrees. I don't think I could do it, but it looks like we got some young brave souls out here who can. Reporting live on Hayden Lake, John Webb, KHQ Local News. Yeah, they don't feel that cold weather like or, or temperatures like we do.